let's get started. If you take a look at the hair right here, it's super weak, right? But if she had thicker hair, it might not be as weak. I'm gonna bring this up and make it nice and strong. Also want it to be just below or just at the shoulder for this haircut. That's where we're gonna aim. Now I'm gonna bring her head flat. I'm gonna draw a straight down center back vertical line. And again, we're gonna move the occipital bone over with a slightly diagonal forward parting. Comb all the rest of the hair over, nice and tight. And then I slide my clip, the YS part clip, slide it up underneath and clip it together. That holds this entire section nice and tight to the head. That keeps everything out of the way, keeps me nice and organized. Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side, keeping my eyes square with the section. So as I look at this, I'm keeping my eyes parallel to what I'm sectioning so that that way I can see exactly what line I'm trying to create with my parting so that I can get a nice balanced line. Now see, I hold this with tension just like I would if I was gonna cut it. And then I slide my clip up underneath and clip the hair away. Or near where I'm from, near. Take about a two inch section straight down the center back. And you could cut this up against the cape if you wanted to. If my client had a back, I would do that. Uh, but I'm gonna hold it in my fingers for now. Start working this line straight, square in the back. So a nice balanced line across. Shouldn't be too much over direction, but there will be a slight bit. So like, as you take a look at what I'm cutting, cutting on the side here, and I'm cutting a straight line straight across in the back. Look at that over direction that comes from that corner. So that's gonna push just a little bit of weight, a little bit of length towards the front. That's totally okay. Just be aware of it. That'll give me a little extra length in the back. If you didn't want, or in the front, if you didn't want that extra length, then all you have to do is just round this section across. So then once you get that line cut, you can check your balance back. And now I've got a nice full feeling in the back of the head. If she had super thick hair, you could always layer into this a little bit to create a little bit lighter shape. But for me personally, I like cutting this one length, then I'll layer into this part of the haircut. I'm gonna go in and do some condensed cutting on the head shape here. So I'm gonna take my clip out now. This is where everybody comes in and they say, well, oh, how do you find your guy? I'm gonna comb the hair up like this. I'm gonna try to keep my finger basically parallel to this parting. And then I'm gonna cut across. So let me see if I can do this without getting in your guys' way. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. This will all come up. I'm gonna bring some of the other side up as well. You're combing it up over top of the parting and parallel and now what I'll do, is once I comb that hair down, I'm gonna check two pieces, make sure that they kind of match up, cutting off some of this disconnect that happened at the bottom. Our initial guide at the bottom, but that's why we cut that guide, we cut it nice and full. So cutting this hair here is just gonna make that line even more blunt. It's so much better than tying in the layers to the bottom, just layering it up because it keeps that fullness on the bottom. Check that out. You can see, look at these layers and how they play out in the haircut. As I come through here, I would just, I center parting here, section this off. And this doesn't have to be perfect, this sectioning, because we're really just gonna debulk a little bit. You know, you want you don't want it to be crazy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I grab my texturizing scissor. This is where the uh, OGs in the room can give me a little help. But all of these tools that I'm showing you guys, these scissors, this is my uh, scissor created by Mizutani Scissors. This is a Mizutani Acro Leaf Wide. It's a dry cutting texturizing scissor. You can also use it on slightly damp, wet hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in at an angle like this, and then I'm gonna go in at an angle like this uh, as I go into cut. And this is basically what I'm gonna do. Slide through, just like that. That removes some of that bulk. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the opposite side at the same angle. So pop through, you can see just glides right through the hair. And then I'll take a look, see that thickness that I want. And if I wanna just take a little bit more, no problem. And then I flip the scissor around and I go the opposite direction. So just debulks it. So if you have fine hair, go the first route. If you have thick hair, do the second one and just take, um, take out some of that bulk. And we're gonna move into the side of the haircut. I'm gonna start on the thicker side, the heavier side, which is our right-hand side here. I'm gonna let that out. 
And I'm just gonna start working the hair in the direction I'm gonna take the parting. What's up, Kim? Shout out to Detroit, Michigan. Now, take a horizontal parting across this. And I'm gonna clip it away. So now I wanna connect these two points. So I've got my longer point from the balanced line that we cut in the back. We're gonna connect these two things together. I'm actually wondering if that person was even talking. I might have been talking to other people bickering. Hence, I should just keep my mouth quiet. Working through, horizontal line across, and then come down and cut. And then go from there. So bringing everything down, cutting my line. Go. And I got my last little bit. And I'm mostly focused on the side. So when you look at the front of this haircut now, I want to take and come down to the hairline because all of this hair wants to fall basically into the front. So comb that forward. And that doesn't need to be involved in anything that I'm cutting right now. So I'll clip that away. So then this is all the hair that's going to fall into the side. So we've got our fringe area, which goes to the hairline here. And then we've got all this hair that wants to fall to the side. I'm going to cut that first. Then I'll go in, cut the fringe later. So I'll bring this hair down, continuing with my line. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the weak side and then we'll go into our fringe. If I get this organized guys, I will show you. Clip that fringe away. I've got the weak side, it's all dried up. H2O, now I'm gonna comb everything over and again, take horizontal partings, put the rest away. And now I'm gonna draw that diagonal, slight diagonal forward line into Make sure that they are balanced up then move forward with the rest. You don't want to cut this whole section and then have this one just a little bit longer and then you got to go back in and recut it. That'll save you a lot of time just checking it right off the bat. So here again, see your guide through it. That's the basis of the entire haircut, but then what we're going to do is now we're going to go in and fine tune from different areas. So comb this fringe over. I'm going to bring out my trusty tri razor. I want to talk about this for a second because I'm super proud of this tool. This is our tool that we created. We are patent pending with our design patent. This is a three-in-one razor cutting tool. So there's removable blades so you can change them out. Make sure that they're nice and sharp. So let me go here, show you guys kind of pop this open. You can see blades inside. Obviously, I haven't changed these. Razors, three different razors inside you have. And then you just pop this back on and then put the top on to the razor and you're good to go. You got 100% cutting of the hair. So if you want to cut lines in the hair right there then you've got your 50 percent texturizing side so it'll take out 50 percent of the hair and then you have a 25 percent texture side you know this tool is super popular we're selling it all over the world so if you want to pick it up go to shop fse i'm going to show you guys how easy it is to detail the entire front of this haircut to create a really cool look first things first you can draw right in to underneath the chin so instead of pulling this out with a scissor cutting it and then hoping it falls in the right place i can literally just comb the hair down like this and then take my 100% cut, cutting side and come right in here and just softly cut into the face frame, which will create little pieces right underneath the chin, which is all I really need. Now I'm gonna take this entire triangle section. This is one thing I love about the tri-razor. You don't have to, you don't have to break up your sections too much. It cuts through like a hot knife through butter. So basically pull this section over to me. The tri-razor blades are really firm. So they're, they're not flimsy at all. So when you go in to cut, there's no give. So it just cuts right through the hair. Unlike some other razors that have like a softer blade. To so they last longer and you get you cut more hair at once. So I'm gonna go through here and I just wanna kind of glide through this bang. So I bring everything over to me and then I just come right through here and then I cut a soft line. The more I move back and forth, the softer this bang will be. Do I want a hard line or do I want a soft line? I'm gonna go kind of medium in here, cut through it. Now, as it comes down, you can see the angle that we create. So then as this is combed over, it's gonna be a nice soft side bang. And then we've just got this little bit left on the bottom. So then I come over to this part of the haircut here and I'm gonna softly again underneath the chin, just carve some of those pieces create that PCness right there. And then in the sides, again, go in with that 25 texture side. Angle the tri-razor back. So I just come in here and I slide in and just remove 25%.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you write made it in the chat or the comments. I'd love to see that. Also know this, that if you, you use the code made it at checkout on our online store, shop FSE, you will get a 10% off a order of hundred dollars or more. So hundred dollars or more type made it one word in the uh, checkout box and you'll get 10% off your order. Also make sure you hit the like button, hit the notification bell, which is up there as well. And make sure you subscribe to the channel, uh, whether you're watching this on YouTube or Facebook, got videos coming out all of the time. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching.